I'm Stephanie Ackerman. I'm a professional scrum trainer and a co-active coach. I'm also one of the stewards of the Professional Scrum Master curriculum for Scrum.org. I run an agile training and coaching business called Agile Socks. I'm here today to debunk a scrum myth. And that myth is that the daily scrum is a status meeting. So first of all, I want to make sure we understand why it's important to debunk this myth. The effectiveness of Scrum is dependent upon this in multiple ways. So I'm going to share with you some key differences between the daily Scrum and a status meeting. So first of all, if you read the Scrum Guide, it says that the purpose of the daily Scrum is to inspect progress towards the sprint goal, to synchronize activities, and create a plan for the next 24 hours. It's by the development team for the development team. It's time boxed to 15 minutes and it happens every day. So what is a status meeting? Well, there's no one definition of a status meeting, but traditionally we look at a status meeting as an opportunity where different team members come together and give an update on their progress for the tasks they've been working on to somebody else, typically, who is maintaining a plan. So a lot of times that may be a project manager, it may be a team lead, could be a manager. And so I wanna share with you some of these differences now so we can compare and contrast because they sound maybe similar on the surface. So first of all, the daily scrum helps promote self-organization. And that is what is at the heart of agility. It's what is at the heart of scrum. So the development team has this shared accountability to create a done increment. And that means because they're accountable, they determine how to do it. They own the sprint backlog. And by having this event every day where they inspect their progress and adapt that sprint backlog together, this event is helping the development team self-organize and fulfill their accountability. If we treat the daily scrum as a status meeting, then we end up with the development team often kind of giving an update on what they've worked on themselves to somebody else. And it feels like that accountability isn't there. That empowerment to make decisions and to own how they do the work can fall to the wayside a little bit. The Daily Scrum also helps maximize our transparency, which is what helps enable frequent inspection and adaptation. So in Scrum, we're using empiricism. We're using an empirical approach to deal with the complexity and the unpredictability that we have in software development. And one of those three pillars of empiricism is transparency. So if the development team members who are responsible for creating this working increment, if they're there and they all know what's going on, whether it's good information, whether it's bad information, you know, and everything in between, it is at least transparent. So they can adapt based on this new information, the current state, the empirical evidence that we have, those new learnings that they have gained in the past 24 hours of working towards the sprint goal. If the development team members are treating this as a status meeting and they're reporting status to somebody else, especially somebody outside the development team, then we may not get the full story about the progress and we, we may lose transparency there. The other thing is we're not emphasizing the adaptation part of this inspect and adapt cycle. So next, let's talk about the daily scrum focusing on achieving valuable outcomes. The entire point of scrum is done and the sprint goal is what's helping guide the development team in terms of what is the purpose of doing this sprint. So, if they're assessing the progress in the context of the sprint, they're identifying potentially new work that endangers the sprint goal, they can discuss, they can adapt the plan. If they have issues that are slowing down their progress or preventing them from moving forward to meet that sprint goal, they're gonna have that discussion and they're going to adapt the plan. So by switching the focus from a traditional status meeting being about what tasks are being done, we're focusing on our progress towards a goal, our progress towards a valuable outcome for our business. The Daily Scrum also promotes collaboration. So 
all the development team members are going to be there and they're going to have awareness, situational awareness about their progress, about what people on the team are working on, what impediments are slowing progress. So if everybody is on the same page and they're focused on their shared accountabilities, this is bringing that opportunity for more collaboration. And this is why I often call the daily scrum a collaborative planning session. No one person owns the plan. The development team owns the plan. They create it and they adapt it together. So instead of focusing on the individual contributions in a status meeting, we're focusing on the collaborative whole. So I hope I've shed some light on this myth and that you now can go back to your teams and look at how you're facilitating your daily scrums. Are we really achieving the purpose? Is this a collaborative planning session? Are we inspecting and adapting and focusing on valuable outcomes? If you would like to continue this conversation, please reach out. You can email me at stephanie at agilesocks.com. You can find me on LinkedIn and Connect. You can also find me on Twitter at The Travel Chica. And I blog for scrum.org and I also blog on my own website, www.agilesocks.com. Thank you.